Hey guys, how are you going? Uh, just a quick video today on how to style your horizontal rule tags using CSS. So they're not going to be anything too crazy, but I'm just going to be showing you three different ways you can actually style your horizontal rules and then from there you can of course apply your own styles to make them suit your own needs. So uh, it's going to be one, two and three here. I'm going to go from basic to mid, then a bit more advanced. So, let's go inside this file right here. We can see we're going to start with three um, standard HRs with no styles applied. Inside the text editor, I've got here the three HRs with classes of one, two and three for the three different examples. So, let's begin with the most basic example. That's going to be the class of one. So, inside the CSS, we can say hr.1 inside here we can first off just set the border to be none so I can say border none just like that and then I can say a height of 1px alright then I can say background of a light grey so basically here we are treating the hr as if it was a regular div element so basically we're going to remove the border set the height then the background so I can save this and refresh the browser and here we can see we've actually removed um, the emboss sort of 3D effect that is on there by default and it's being replaced with this solid grey line and you can of course um, change the height for example 10px save this refresh and of course it's now a thicker horizontal rule um, so that is uh, the most uh, the most simple example and it's probably my favorite in my opinion. Um, so for the second example, we can just say hr.2. This one is going to be a very similar um, method, but it's going to be using um, a bit more, you know, obviously uh, gradient style backgrounds. Okay, so um, let's go inside here and I can uh, once again uh, set the height to be a value such as 5px. And here we're going to set the border. So I'm going to say border 2px solid and black. Okay, then I can say a border radius, make this something like 10px, then background as a linear gradient uh, to the left for blue and red. So uh, you can see here, uh, once again, we're treating the HR as if it was a regular div element. So we're setting a height, border, background. So I can save this and refresh and of course we have this result right here. And of course you can simply remove the background if you don't want to have it. So for example, just get rid of, sorry, um, the border. So I can just say border none and that works just fine also. Save this refresh and we have this right here. So for the third example, uh, this is going to make use of the after pseudo element. So let's go back inside here. We're going to say hr.3. Within here, we can say border of none initially. Then I can say a border top of 2px and then solid. So here it's going to be done a bit differently. Up in these two first examples, we're basically setting the border to be none and letting the height determine the actual height of the horizontal rule. In this example, we're going to be using the border top to specify or determine the height. The reason why you want to use um, a height and a border of none in these two examples is so you can take advantage of the background uh, gradients and things like that, which of course the border top isn't going to give you. So I can save this and refresh and we have this right here, a 2px uh, high uh, black border. All right. So back inside here, uh, we can then uh, set the color to be something like blue and this will apply to not only the border but also the text we're going to insert um, just here below this rule set. So um, if I save this and refresh, we have a blue border. So um, back inside here, um, we're going to make advantage, so we're going to take advantage of the, uh, the CSS after pseudo element. So essentially, if I was to say hr.3, then I can say colon colon after. So for those of you who don't know, uh, basically this after pseudo element is like a virtual element created with CSS, which you can style and basically treat like a regular HTML element. So for this, I'm going to say display as inline block 
I'm going to position it as relative. Some content such as deco, this will be the text to be displayed. Then I can say font family as being monospace to make it a bit different. And you can of course add your own styles right here. You're free to do basically anything. So I can save this now and refresh and we have this right here. So of course you can see what type of things you can do with these pseudo elements. You can, uh, you can insert symbols, you can align them, things like that. For example, I can make this uh, text align as being center. I can save this and refresh and now decode is in the center. So um, that is three basic ways you can style your horizontal rules using CSS. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.